friends. Welcome to Martha Ree's Story Time. I'm Miss Martha, and I want to thank you so much for joining me. For the last few weeks, I have been reading past winning stories from our PBS Kids Writers Contest. Today's story was written quite a few years ago, and it was actually a statewide winner. The title of this story is called One Brave Arachnid. And it was written by a second grader named Daxton who attended Walsingham Academy in Williamsburg, Virginia. Do you know what an arachnid is? Well, let's put on our good listening ears. Click, click, as we find out and... Let's see what made this arachnid so brave. It's 4th of July at Patriotic Country Club. It's a party in the USA. And Rocco the soldier spider is happy to be home. The only problem is that he's wobbling because he lost one leg in the war. A group of arachnids were meeting at a picnic basket under a tree. Rocco went to join them. But the arachnids made Rocco sad because they told him he wasn't an arachnid anymore because he only had seven legs and not eight. Rocco moaned and walked away. He wanted to be an arachnid again and had a plan. He turned around and ahaha, a new leg. It was beautiful and orange. He was happy, even though he crunched when he walked. It was a Cheeto. But just then, a bird swooped down and ate the leg. Later, he watched golfers playing golf. Suddenly, Rocco fell. He thought an arrow hit him. He opened his eyes a couple of seconds later and... Ah ha ha, a new leg. It fit, but when he tried to walk, it kept getting stuck in the ground. It was a golf tee. Then he heard a baby crying as the mother strolled him away. Rocco felt like crying too, but wanted to be brave. Then, ah ha ha. He saw a shiny, muscly leg. He attached the leg and danced away. Finally, he had to ditch that new leg because the sound was driving him crazy. It was a baby rattle. Rocco felt defeated and decided to wobble back to his web. He walked up to his web and felt better because a fly dinner was waiting for him. The dinner was Dr. Fly, a famous inventor. Dr. Fly begged for his life. Rocco and Dr. Fly made a deal. Dr. Fly would give Rocco a leg in turn for his freedom. Rocco followed Dr. Fly to his lab and received a legunator, an amazing machine leg. Rocco became famous, had lots of friends, and opened a spider agency. Dr. Fly invented cool Superfly gadgets for him. 
Rocco only wore the leg grenade when he needed it for work. Because although he had seven legs, he knew. He was one cool arachnid. The end. This story was amazing and it was always one of my favorite. Now we know what made this arachnid so brave. He was a wounded war veteran. We also know that an arachnid is a creature with eight legs, like a spider. Spiders are not insects. They're called arachnids. Now, insects have six legs. And an example of an insect with six legs is the ant. So we know that arachnids have eight legs. Insects have six legs. I have a visitor that's going to come and help help us and we're going to determine whether or not our visitor today is an arachnid or an insect. This is Miss Ladybug the Beetle. Can you say hi to Miss Ladybug? Miss Ladybug, can you say hi to our friends out there? Hello? Now, let's count Miss Ladybug's legs to see whether or not she is an arachnid or if she is an insect. Let's count the legs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is she an insect or an arachnid? Miss Ladybug? Can you help us? Tell us whether or not you're an insect or an arachnid. I'm an insect. Okay. Miss Ladybug says she's an insect. If you said insect, give yourself a thumbs up. Awesome. Thank you so much, Ladybug, Miss Ladybug, for helping us. Um, you take care and I'll I'll see you a little later on, okay? Goodbye, Miss Ladybug. Good day. All right. I hope you can remember the difference between an arachnid and a lady uh, and an insect. Arachnids have eight legs. Insects have six legs. Well, that's all I have for you today. I hope you remember to always practice, practice, practice your reading every day to exercise your brain so that you can be the best reader that you can be. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day, and I hope that I'll see you the next time. Goodbye, friends.